Let's see, we got a flashlight around here. Got a bunch of crap going on here. Where's my flashlight? Well, yeah, there we go. I just put new batteries in this. Let's take a look. <clears throat> it's a little dark, it's about six o'clock. So I'll have to maybe get a look at this tomorrow. But, here it is. A little green around the gills back here. Never really been a big fan of this. It looks like that's just held on with double sided sticky tape, so that might be something we'll fix. And maybe look into getting that a little closer. Got a little scuff here and there, and a, the body line's a little dinkered. What have we got going on in here? It's got a little skinny springs. Pretty clean under here. Tires are not good. I think I'm gonna take the ones from the trailer and uh, put them on this because they got the chrome wheels. Um, so we'll change the wheels out on this. Tires on the other wheels I have are kind of okay, but they're a little bit better shape than these. We'll get some tires for this thing uh, some other time. But yeah, this is a 86. Sorry, it's I got home late today picking this thing up, but <clears throat> yeah, this is it. Um, I was told it had 140 some thousand miles on it. I believe it's, it's on pretty much unmolested. Like it's not even like, look at how decent the dash is. And you know, the door panels are kind of different shade of whatever. Missing the headliner, but I have a headliner backing that we can reline and then put that in here. Um, I was also, let me look at the roof yet, there's a couple dents there, big deal. Um, we might put cab lights on this, if you guys want me to. Um, we got water coming in somewhere, I think it's probably because of this window here. Uh, so I'll have to look at that. Um, hopefully we don't have, oh, I need to take this trim off and uh, Clean that out and put some sealer, sealer down. That was pretty good. Um, this is cleaner than my truck. I guess it's the only rust I found on it so far. It's got this little ding here. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever fix that. I don't even know if I can get in there. Um, but that's all I've seen so far. It's an XLT Lariat. Um, yeah, this is at the junkyard. And uh, uh, the pick and pull where I normally go and have taken you guys um, a ride there a few times. Getting stuff for the rigs. <coughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was going there for a part for the, uh, neighbor's Camry, and, uh, I saw this truck there. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, they, uh, just got it in, and, uh, I was like, hey, you know, what, uh, what's the going price for this? And the pick and pull typically sells builder cars for about $1,300 even their trucks, that's kind of their standard price. Um, I'm pretty sure 
they pay next to nothing for this, but I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> I haggled them a little bit, and uh, I got it for $9.75, which that bull knows there, which you can barely see. That's the original one that I've um, you know, built up over the years. And that one I paid $500 for. You guys want to see what kind of motor it's got? I might try and buff this thing out and see if it'll shine a little bit, and even though we have some paint problems going on here. Maybe we could buff it out or something and then clear coat it, but the weather's been so crappy lately, I won't get to any of that until uh, later this year. Oh, it's running this garage. Um, I was thinking about actually clearing a spot here and moving this into the garage so we can work work and tinker um, without having any rain problems. And plus, uh, we'll be on the carpet and we can look at the undercarriage and get a good look. And we got a little bit of a problem here. <clears throat> I was thinking of just hammering it out and getting it as clean as possible and then later come in and um, we'll just paint this lower line with a bed liner. You know, that cab corner, not too worried about it, but there's no rust as far as I can see. Yeah. This, something's not right with this uh, back window. I don't know if, I think the canopy is actually too far forward. I actually think it needs to go back a tiny bit. But I'm also not entirely sure if I want to keep this canopy. <clears throat> um, I kind of want to actually put it on my trailer. Because um, my trailer needs something to cover up stuff. Because I use it for hauling garbage and whatnot away. And um, This truck... Yeah, I'm just not so sure I want this canopy on here. And you know what? I'd actually like for you guys to make that decision. So. If you guys think that this canopy needs to come off and just not be on this truck, um, we'll make that happen. My initial plans for this is, you know, I have things like LED lighting upgrades and we might change those mirrors to some OBS ones. I think that will work. Yeah, I think this window needs some work here. It's not sealing and that's letting moisture get in. So we'll have to deal with that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we'll do LED light upgrades and uh, whatnot. So far, everything works, and the electrical is working fine. Um, I think the battery's a little crappy on it. Uh, at least I'm hoping it's the battery, because I actually have a yellow top that's basically a brand new, hardly been used. We can throw in here and have a nice, good, cold starting battery. Um, but initial plans, what I want to do is start with the engine and transmission. And uh, with that being said, let me move this baby in more and uh, we'll get a good look at the engine, transmission, and see if we have any uh, major problems. After I ripped the dashboard out, I'm trying to open this. Only a few of you who are on my Facebook know what engine's in this. But now you know what it has now. It's got a 302 V8, and we can confirm that right here. Um, but just going over this truck, it looks like they've already done some work to it. Someone put a new thermostat housing in down there. Um, it's got a new water pump. This radiator is fairly new. Um, never seen this style before, but um, it is missing the fan trout, so I'm going to have to get one for it. Um, yeah, we got valve cover leaks that we've got to deal with. We got some oil leaking out of there and maybe uh, reloom that wiring harness there. Um, it's got all the factory air conditioning stuff is still here. I mean, there's nothing really missing as far as I can tell. Everything seems to be here. We do have power steering issues. It's leaking from somewhere. 
probably out of this hose. Um, so that was fun getting it in the driveway. Um, the throttle cable, there's this guy here. I don't know if this is supposed to be laid over like this. Um, but this has a problem and it's seized up. So, um, like, you know, this moves freely, which that could probably use some cleaning and some lubing because that's a little stiff. Um, but overall, everything's here. Um, I don't know, what is this? Oh, no, oh, someone's replaced one wire, spark plug wire, that ELR one right there. Looks like I had a tune-up done recently. Um, yeah, I did notice something kind of funky here. This dipstick is, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but it, and it's like a bastard to, you know, get in there. I don't know if it's supposed to go like that or, like, I, I can't even really get it back in there. <laughs> There's some oil on it. So that's something we'll have to address. Um, I did notice it runs a little, it runs good, but it's not smooth. And I'm hearing a lot of hissing coming from this guy from inside the cab. So I think we're gonna need a brake booster. Um, Shoot, it's all there. But I don't know, where's the uh, oil fill on this? Oh, there it is. God, that's a bitch. It's, it's right here. <laughs> Let's see, what does this look like? Well, it's not milky, so that's good. I'll definitely have to get a gasket kit for this and maybe make a gasket for that cap. Um, I haven't even opened up the air cleaner yet. And I, yeah, we can, we can do that later. Let's see if it'll start. It's a little eh. And I haven't got a chance to look at the battery or anything to, you know, see what's wrong with it. See that? I don't know, tubes. What do you think? So we've got one, two, and this one. Well, it's all there. That's got Motocraft spark plugs in it. That's good. Okay. That might have to replace that plug, it's a little crusty on the top. Or just clean it, but... Okay, right, let's see what happens now. This should be interesting. for charging. We're charging, that's 
good. 14.2 at an idle. Probably still warming up too. That was interesting. Are we missing any other sportsman wires? It's starting up a little bit better every time I run it for a little bit, which is good. Okay, I was gonna get some fluid for this guy because there's nothing on that dipstick. Uh, it's just foam. Okay, grab our little stocking gift flashlight here and just pour until we see some fluid show up. This is probably gonna need a power steering pump. Just because it's, it looks like it's leaking around the uh, the uh, base there, which is unfortunate. The pump's been replaced before because it's got a black housing and not a Manila housing. Well, that ought to be good for now. Judging by that dipstick, I don't think it has really much oil in it. And it's probably mostly leaking because of that uh, valve cover. Uh, but we need to figure out what's up with this dipstick. Why is it so stupid? Uh, mm. And yeah, we got some oil, just barely. I think I'll probably just dump a cord in it and call it good. So we'll change the oil on it after we fix all the oil leaks and fix that dipstick problem. I hope that's not something involving pulling the engine. Um, what I will do here, move that back. I say that. Get you out of the way. The same funnel we used for the power string fluid we'll use for this. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. So this is 1030. 
and then they got a 1040. Don't really want to mix weights of oil so much, so we're just going to put this whole bottle of 1030 in and we'll just deal with the rest of the oil shenanigans later. Somebody trying to get their dog to follow him. There, it's got some oil on it now, right? So we know we need a new brake booster and I can demonstrate to you guys how you'll know when you need one. This one is hissing from the inside and it goes away when you push on the brake pedal. And it also changes how the engine runs. So it's kind of, an indicator. Let's see if we can get this air box out of here. Oh, well there goes the other end of that. Oh look, it's got a brand new air filter in it. I don't know why they put this air cleaner like right over the top of the engine. This is such a dumb spot. Well, it's not brand new, but it's it's okay. You know, just for just for kicks. I want to see something. Huh. So This is from the Lincoln Town Car and I have two of these. Oh my god. Guys, look. Performance upgrade. Is that actually the same size? I think it is. Let's see. Will this, will this fit in there? Oh my God, that's a direct fit. Let's see. Oh, and there's clips on this other side here. I didn't get that. Oh my God, guys, Lincoln Town Cart performance air filter fits an 86 F-150. <laughs> there, we got our first upgrade. We got rid of that. That'll be interesting. I don't even know if that'll make any difference. It probably won't. Yeah, this runs some weird, I think it's speed density, not, not yeah, whatever. Okay, so that's that. We got some oil in it. Probably just feed that 1040 to the truck. We need to check the transmission fluid. And some people are going to wonder, did you remove the drive shaft when you towed it? Anyways, um, I have the dipstick tube, which is heavily mangled on the end there. Wow. Okay. What do we got here? Doesn't smell burnt. It looks like it probably could use a change. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be changing the transmission fluid. I don't know what kind of transmission it has in it. We'll have to look at the, the code on the, on the door, or the cab and see what we got. Hopefully it's not swapped out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new dipstick too for that one. It's kind of janky. Yeah, I was smelling antifreeze and it looks like we might be leaking out that little bowl right there, but yeah, we're dripping somewhere down there. I can smell it and you can see it. There's coolant. Okay, so transmission fluid change. That's up next. That'll be fun. I think we'll take the old sucker here and just run it down that tube and evacuate it. I did that with the Lincoln Town Car. But I didn't do a video on it. This one I'll do a video on it because you guys will, would be more interested in that instead of Town Car. Which is not a thing anymore because I trashed it. Kind of thinking that might be it for now. I'm gonna throw this battery on the charger and see if that helps. If we still kind of have a weird crank where it seems slow and not fast like it should, we'll look at the rest of our battery connections. So with that, that's it for this video.